today we'll be showing you how to do reborning. What you'll need. Paint brushes. Good quality paints. A reborn. Paint thinner. Makeup sponges with a special texture. A nice smooth sponge and with tweezers you'll make little little tiny holes in for the bottom for modelling. So let's get started with um, some modelling. I've already started this baby so this is just the next step I have to do. You need a blue paint and your paint thinner. You need this sucking thing to suck up the paint. Sorry, suck up the thinner. Let's get started. So basically we're going to need like the smallest amount of this as we can get. I'm going for two drops and then I'm going to water it down a lot because this is a very scary part of reborning. The blue because it gets darker over time. One, two, three, four. We're going to do that. That's maybe too much. If it's too much, we just add more paint. So we'll see how that goes. Just mix it up just to make sure it's all um, mixed together. Okay. I think we might need a bit more, so I'm going to quickly do that because it's better to have more than less. Because I don't want to have to make more of this blue colour. Because if I do, then it'll end up being a different shade. Right, there we go. Diluted it again. And we're ready to get going. I'm just going to mix it. Hopefully this is enough. So we're going to do these blue mottling undertones between the eyes and the temples, which is on the head. We're also going to do it on the soles of the feet, like around the heels and the top of the foot and also in the palm of the hand. So we're going to paint it onto the sponge rather than um, just applying it to the baby. Alright, so just do it like that. And hopefully this goes well. If you do it right, you should barely be able to see. And the problem is I can see. So I need to thin it out a lot more because it's you can see it on the baby and we don't want to see it. Otherwise, we're in trouble. So, yeah, there we go. So I'm testing the colour on a piece of paper just to see what it's looking like. And it's looking very light, so hopefully this should be better and we'll go ahead with this. Simply painting it on again. Just spreading it out. And we're just going to go for it. This time, if it's not um, light enough, then we're just going to go with it. We're not going to try again. We're just going to go with it. There we go. That's literally all we have to do. Do the same on the other arm. Really. This time, though, this hand is more hidden so we probably won't really get much on this one so i'll just go in with just dab it all around the hand we're on to the soles of the feet so we go around the heel right here and the top of the foot right around just like that you won't even see it you go through the process of painting the sponge again and we're now on to the other sole of the foot don't mind the background noise <laughs> there we go done Right, I'm now onto the head, so I'm just applying it to my brush again, or my sponge, sorry, and we go on the head. So, the temples, I'm not 100% sure, I need to check, I'm pretty sure it's like around here, and then also between the eyes, so I need to 
probably use the other side of my sponge for the in between the eyes. So the temples is here. So I'm just going to quickly put a wee bit on there. Very lightly. Like that. And the same on the other side. Just brush a bit more on. And apply it right here. I'm just simply applying in between the eyes now. Done. I hope you enjoyed this video and that is the end of Reborning This Baby. Make sure you subscribe for more Reborning videos for the next part of this one. Bye.